Hey, when will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. What I do know is that this is for F Beauty. I am sweating a cob on, so the fan is on. Apologies if you can hear that, but if I don't, this makeup will not be on for more than about 10 minutes. And this is part two of my eyeshadow palette collection stroke declutter. There's going to be significantly less decluttering in this episode because we're now hitting the set of drawers that I use the most. Right, I'm going to start off by going through um, some of the palettes that I've got on my table. I can't remember if I've mentioned all of those last time round. If I have, if there are any repeats, I apologise. Um, I know that's a repeat because I was going to declutter it and then Anya said, no, you have to keep it. I want to do a collab with you on it, so I kept that. Um, I'm pretty sure I showed you those. This, I can't remember if I showed you or not, this is the e.l.f. liquid glitter eyeshadow in shade Dirty Martini, which I still need to try. And these are all currently in a box on my table. But I remember showing you the others because I remember saying that one of them is by Too Faced, which you won't be seeing on this channel. Right. Okay. This gorgeous little box. I ordered one of the uh, brands that I wanted to try this year. Uh, was Sigil inspired, which is Russian. And I ordered myself a set, the frog set. <laughs> and then three other um, colours from her collection. So the frog set are in here, basically a white, a green and a shimmery green. They came stacked like that. You can stack her other ones like it as well if you want to, but at the moment I'm just keeping them um, in their little individual pots until I decide how I'm storing them. Um, and I've got Cat's Paws, which is like a mauve matte. Uh, she Who Tamed the Lava, which is like a bronzy burgundy. Yes, I've had to trim my nails down because they were grown out so far they were in danger of lifting. Um, and this is Raspberry, which is a gorgeous pinky. These are all loose pigments, so I will be doing a tutorial with these soon. I promise, soon. Um, where to start next? Uh, this is someone who was on my shit list, and then he made it across to my, OK, I'm, I'm watching you, you're in my limbo list. I'd had my eye on this particular Moonspell palette from Luna, from uh, Manny, but there was no way in hell I was paying 50 quid for it, and then someone on Depop was selling it for 25, so I'm like, yeah, alright, I'll do that. Um, I've only used it, I've used it a couple of times off camera and I've filmed with it once. Um, so far, I quite like it, but um, I need to do I need to play with it a bit more before I can give a definitive yes or no, do I approve of it or not. Um, I think I showed you this one last time. This is the Elf, Earth and Ocean. And I picked up, I used this an awful lot over Christmas and New Year. Um, this was pretty much all I used over Christmas and New Year. And Elf had recently bought out these little four pan palettes. 
So I picked up the green and the blue because I wanted to compare them to see if these are the same quality as these and they are. So I should be keeping the earth and ocean palette and I'm also going to keep the two little bite sized ones, my um, hot jalapeno and I see you um, and these are actually going to go into my overnight bag because they're perfect size for travelling with. So that is awesome. Pop those over there for a minute. Uh, this again is this block party by Suva. This is a palette I'd been looking for for quite a while. That's the hubby. He'll be making an appearance shortly. Oh, yes, hello. Um, this is block party by Suva. And I absolutely fell in love with this when I first saw it, particularly these four here, sort of the apricot, the two teals and that yellow. Um, I haven't used it yet. Again, I picked this up from Depop quite cheap, so awesome. My best Depop bargain so far is this. Now, regular viewers will know that I said there is no way in hell I am paying... 70 bloody quid because these are 68 quid over here for a palette like this from ABH well this is actually the Norvina line obviously this is her palette number two um, and it, it's an untested formula for me I didn't know whether it was going to be like um, the normal ABH formula or if it was going to be different but I managed to pick this up are you ready for this? 26 quid from Depop and they had proof of purchase as well so I was quite happy with that um, that's the only thing I would say if you're buying from Depop if you're getting something like this and it is really really reduced as this one was make sure you see some kind of proof of purchase and make sure you pay by PayPal. I've had a couple of people say to me, um, if you pay by PayPal off of the app, I can do it cheaper because then I'm not paying Depop fees. I have done that, but I've still made sure that I paid by goods and services, not friends and family. So if there is an issue, I can still use PayPal to get my money back. So obviously, keeping that one. Uh, this is the Viper Queen palette that I picked up from Peachy Queen and this looks, I've kept the little plastic condom thing because there's two press glitters in this one this looks like that I have used this a couple of times I've filmed with it once, I did a collab with who did I do a collab with? Stacey from Stacey's Makeup Corner um, so far so good but I'm not going to give a definitive yes or no until I've used it a few more times. And this took so long to get to me from America, this particular palette isn't showing up on their system anymore. So I don't know whether it's just out of stock or if it's not coming back or what. But I really liked the colour uh, scheme for that. At the same time that I bought that, I bought this Spirit Board one. No, I don't believe in using spirit boards or Ouija boards at all but look at that colour scheme isn't that beautiful gorgeous purples and violets and these kind of mauvey purpley pinks so that really really appealed to me I know it's most people would think of that more as a an autumn or fall palette but you know me, I will wear whatever I want whenever I want. Still haven't used this one yet, we'll be using it soon. I've got so many palettes that I need to film with, that I need to show you. Um, this is one of the little uh, limited edition ones that Wet n Wild bought out last year. From their, um, was it Wild Rose? Was it the Wild Rose collection they had? Um, and this, this one was called A Bed of Roses, that's the colour scheme. 
really really liked this uh, not just because it's one of my favourite Bon Jovi songs but because as a palette it works really well so I'm keeping hold of that one Revolution Glass Mirror Babe can you stick that in the bin for me? Uh, these bin but cardboard recycling bin Hang on a minute no, there's a reason I held on to this one. I was going to say, you weren't letting go. I... No, I remembered <laughs> why now. It's because Revolution made a cock up. I thought we could have a tongue on the of back more. of here. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. They've actually got 18 colours shown there, marking up which ones are pigments on a £15 palette. On the back of the palette themselves, they have the 15 pans. On the front of the cardboard, they have the 15 pans, but on the back, they got the 18 pans. That's why I'd held on to it, because I wanted to show you that. Now that I can go into the recycling. Thank you, baby. Can we have another tug of war? I, just let me win. Oh, no, you won. I'm sorry, let you win. Go on. Oh, oh, yeah, you won. Yeah, see, even. I have a very strong grip. <laughs> Think of that what you will. Um, this was okay. Uh, I've only used it once when I filmed with it. Um, they needed a lot of building up. The shades that I chose when I filmed. So I need to use this a few more times off camera to decide whether or not I want to keep it or pass it on. Um, the packaging though is stunning but it is the kind that shows fingerprints up so that annoys the ever-living crap out of me this is my Flutterby from a Colourpop which I actually the film went up today I did a collab with Marlin with this we did a palette bingo um, I wasn't overly impressed by this particular shade here but I'm going to try it with some different brushes in case it was just the brush that I was using that it wasn't particularly working well with um, but I really like this this is I've not picked up the Colourpop 9 pan making mauves yet because this is pretty much that plus a few extra um, this this for me is really really neutral this is more neutral than most of my palettes but I, there's something about mauves that with my green eyes I really really like uh, okay I, th I may have shown you I think I showed you these two last time this is the 9 pan revolution palette which is their version of the Colourpop 9 pans and the squidgy donut palette I still need to film with those that's why they've not been put away yet uh, these are my some handmade some uh, that's I think Colourpop that's a handmade one. I think a couple of these were tart. Yeah. Bottom row is tart. Those two are colour pop and the rest are all handmade. Um, I'm going to go through and see what the, the pigmentation's like on all of those. Probably pull the ones out that I'm going to keep, put them into my big magnetic palette, and then keep this for. Uh, if I want to create my own palette from the shades in the big palette so that it's easier to show on screen. So that's why I've not put that anywhere yet. Pretty sure I showed you my Lethal Cosmetics but it's beautiful so I'm going to show you again. These are my particular choices. This is very similar to a palette that they created, the bottom row and two of the top row are the same but the middle row and one of the one of the ones at the top there are different i think it was the renegade palette and they'd got like oranges and stuff in it but i took the oranges out and put some more teals in and this gray and some greens and stuff 
really like the Lethal Cosmetics um, quality. Very, very high quality palettes. Um, this was sent to me by my friend Hedda, who sent me all of those Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. This is a little mini Winky Lux palette. This is the mini Royal Kitten palette. How cute is that? Look at that. So I need to have a play with that, see what that's like. She also sent me this. How cute is that? This was a MAC Royal Tour eyeshadow set. It originally had these three shadows in, but these three have totally dried up, not picking up on either swatch or brush. I am going to try using a clean spoolie um, and just make them into a loose pigment, see how they perform, uh, possibly mix the pink and the lavender together um, and if that performs well then I'll keep it, if not I'll probably lob those but I could not get rid of this particular tin because how gorgeous is that um, so I had an old Revolution magnetic palette where the mirror had broken off so I kind of snapped the bottom bit in half and took the little magnetic sheet out of the bottom to put in here and then I had three loose shades from Igneous Cosmetics so I just popped those into here I don't know if I'll be able to get six in here will they? oh yeah look I would just about be able to get six in here so if I decide to get any more loose igneous cosmetics this can be my igneous cosmetics one or again if I just want to take a six pan travel palette with me ideal size I still need to do your mm. film um, with igneous I'm so behind with all of my different films um, combination of pain building works at neighbours, noise from neighbours, oh. hay fever oh, I forgot there was a door frame behind me oh no, no. <laughs> did you just whack your spine right on it? right in the middle oh baby I'll just hold still for a minute, I'll be fine ok, you'd be brave boy um, <laughs> oh god oh. I've got a few little mini Smashbox palettes, they're, they're, what are they called, cover shots? Yeah, cover shots. This one is drawn in, decked out, which this was smashed when it arrived, but again, it's quite a nice little neutral travel palette, so I hang on to that. Uh, this is the metallic eye palette which looks like that to be honest I think I've used this twice it's really not my colour scheme so I am going to ready for this? declutter that one ooh, ooh. so hubby can start the declutter pile oh, for me this bag here? no 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 that's going to be for the foundations when I start doing those so, where's, so just a pile right? just a pile please yeah and then in here, still in its box, because I still haven't filmed with it yet. This is how it, I help remember whether I filmed with them or not. This one I had wanted ever since I first saw it. If you go back to one of my Hell Yeah Well Knows, you will see that I wanted this. This is the Ultraviolet. Look. Look, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Isn't that just me? Yay. Um, and I managed to pick that up, I think it was 60% off at Cult Beauty, or might have been John Lewis. Wherever I got it from, I know it was 60% off, which made me a very happy girly indeed. Uh, this is one of the Wet n Wild colour icons, this is Comfort Zone, that I picked up. Um, it's kind of a... 
I suppose colour-wise it's, it's kind of subcultural, but not quite. Um, I think I've only used this once. It's a nice enough palette, but I'm just... It doesn't scream for me to use it, so I am going to declutter. Mm. I know, I wasn't expecting to be able to declutter any today. I'm doing so well. I'm doing so well, darling. Yeah, I know, but I haven't done the drawers yet. And my... When I say my latest acquisition, it's not really my latest acquisition because I... Oh, I've got about four palettes on the way to me because I, I kind of hit cabin fever. Uh, but this was on special offer on W7's website, and I don't even remember ordering this. This is the 24K Gold Rush, and is obviously their dupe of the Natasha Denona Golden palette. So. It's actually what I've got on my eyes today. So if you want a tutorial on this, let me know, because I didn't actually film this today, I just bunged it on. Right, okay, I think that's all the palettes on the table. Can I have my first tray, my first drawer, please, darling? Sorry, they're, they're my drawers, I do apologise. <laughs> I'm planning that over ten minutes. <laughs> Oh, clean, he's just taking them off the air. Yeah, they're a bit moist. Nothing to do with me. <laughs> okay. Oh, dear. This is... This is where things are going to get difficult because I'm not going to want to declutter <coughs> any of these. Uh, because... I just don't want to, basically. These look... I know for a fact I'm not going to be decluttering very many, if any, from these drawers at all. So let's just start by taking these out of here, making a nice pile that I can start working through. And if I drop this pile right now, I'm going to say so many rude words, you're going to think this is Lady's channel. <laughs> Problem is I don't actually have a lot of room here to work with even though I'm on the kitchen table. Um, My album, The Kiss of Fame, is out now. Hubby loves Nady, as know, you can tell. I, I'll just wait for the end bit. And I normally skip through the end bit because he, you know, he always says the same thing. Which is like, oh, I didn't hear the kiss of fame bit. So if hubby's around, I have to make sure I play that bit. <laughs> right, let's start off with my September rose palette. This is a brew. This is their neutral palette. Now this to me is what a perfect neutral palette should look like. It's neutral but it's not boring. This is going nowhere at all. Love this palette. Used it a lot. Although I always clean my palettes so they don't look like they've been used a lot. Because if I open a palette up and it's dirty, I just... I don't get any inspiration from it. Then we've got Slush One palette, which is the first palette I bought from her. A mixture of mattes and shimmers. And September Rose was actually the first company to give me a discount code. Now initially it was um, non-affiliated. And then because should, you've sent so many orders my way, I have to be I have to send you something to say thank you. So it's now an affiliated code. Um, and she sent me this for free. This is Slush 2, which is an all matte continuation of Slush 1. So you have slightly deeper and different undertones to complement the original rainbow palette. Now 
uh, certify this one I got from a friend of mine which is why it looks a little bit grabbier than mine usually do this is the tropical wonders palette it looks like that again it's going nowhere this is the first certify palette I bought this is the destiny palette looks like that absolutely love this gorgeous gorgeous reds and oranges in the middle there that's going absolutely nowhere that's staying right here and then I bought actually I bought affinity too before I bought affinity but this is the affinity palette no I didn't I did buy the affinity palette first because I fell in love with the purples obviously so that's going absolutely nowhere and then last year 2019 she bought out affinity 2 when everyone was coming out of blue and green palettes but this is beautiful um, there are some stunning shades in here uh, including some that are unique to my collection which given the number of palettes I've got that that's saying something now sadly blush tribe are closing down I am personally gutted by that because of all the indie brands that I have bought from Blush Tribe has my favourite formula and my favourite palette the Hasina 2 so much so I've bought myself a backup Hasina 2 even though I haven't hit pan on any of the shades in the first one of these that I've got <clears throat> but I cannot ever imagine not having the Hasina 2 in my collection so I bought myself a backup I don't care what you say I don't care what anybody says. It's me in a palette. So I bought a backup of it. So, this is what the Hasina 2 looks like. For those of you who don't already know, that is just me in a palette purple, green, blue. So clearly, Hasina is going nowhere. I could make you a palette to sit on and then you could be in the palette. Isn't that be cool? Continuing on. Uh, then I've got my Pastel Tribe palette. Which looks like this. Obviously it's a slightly deeper pastel than most pastel palettes because this is also aimed at those with the deeper melanin marvellous um, so I love this because it's it's a pastel but it's not wishy-washy pastel then I don't quite know why I kept the cover for this one this is the Paulina palette from Paulina Beauty, this is one that she did in combination with Blush Tribe, again absolutely love it, it's going nowhere Now, Layla is a combination of previous shades from previous palettes. So it was the most popular shades from the first Hasina palette. Um, I believe that the teal in here is the teal from Hasina 2. 
Um, basically it's a combination of all of the favourite shades put together to make Layla. So that's going nowhere. Absolutely nowhere darling. It's staying right here in my collection. Um, and then there's the Layla 2 which I used the other day for a film which will be going up shortly. This is the Layla 2, green and yellow. Stunning. Going absolutely nowhere. Staying right here. Uh, then she did the Neon Dreams revamped palette. Uh, neons are very difficult to do as pressed pigments and these do have some issues. I do have the loose pressed pigments but I can still get these to work so for the time being I'm going to hang on to this. This is the Fall Fusion palette. This was limited edition two years ago. She was going to bring it back out last year. Um, I don't quite know why that... I think it was because she was getting married that it didn't happen. Because um, obviously she had other things on her mind. Um, and now unfortunately the company's closing. So, love this one. This has actually got... Um, one of the shades is Angelica after Angelica Nyquist. And the other one is Paulina from Paulina's Beauty, who then, after this, um, obviously collabed with Selma from Blush Tribe to do her own Paulina palette. I think that's... No, I've got another Blush Tribe one here. Ooh. This is the Sonia Zarina palette. This is her version of a neutral palette. Or a wedding palette. That's beautiful. This was actually a gift from her. Um, if you want to know why, you're going to have to find the film called Blush Tribe Sent Me a Gift and watch that to find out. Because I'm going to be a cow and not tell you. Mm. Yeah, moo. Go and be a cow. Right, moving on from Blush Tribe, this is the Coloured Rain Safari Rain palette, which my darling hubby bought me. Absolutely love this, it's going bloody nowhere. It's staying right here. Uh, this is my other pastel palette, this is Dream with a Vision from Makeup Obsession. Um, some of these shades are okay, some of them are a bit hit and miss. Um, to be honest, I've kept them in here for the time being, but what I will eventually do is go through, work out which ones are any good, pull them out, put them across into my main palette, because what I love about Makeup Obsession is that they've got those little notches next to it, so it's really easy just to pop the colours out. Um, so I'll probably end up doing that with it, depending on how many of those shades I keep depends on whether it goes into the main one or into the nine pan palette that I showed you earlier. This was my first Violet Voss palette that I had lusted after for some time and I finally managed to pick up on Depop. This is the Violet Voss hashtag palette which is the purples and golds. Love, love, love this. So that's staying right here in my collection um, and then I've got my Dominique Cosmetics and again for some reason I've got the slip cover for this I don't normally keep the cardboard slips unless does it not give me the details on the back ah ok the reason I kept this is because the ingredients are not listed on the back of the palette. So that's obviously why I held on to it. So this is the Lemonade palette from Dominique Cosmetics. And she looks like this. Very beautiful springy summery palette. So 
I should be keeping her. Let's pop her back into her little slip cover for the time being. What I might do is just, um, I don't tend to use the mirrors in palettes as a rule, so I might just cut the, uh, the details out off of the back and just glue them onto the mirror. Right, what else have I got in here? I have also got in here, uh, this was a gift from my friend Kay and certify when Blush Tribe bought out the Hasina 2 palette certify did a set of matching trying to pick this up without dropping them all glitters and Kay bought them couldn't get on with loose glitter asked me would I like them would I be offended if she sent them to me which I said, of course I wouldn't be offended, and yes please, I would love them. Uh, thank you so much. How much do you want for it? And she just laughed and said, don't be silly. I don't want any money for it. Just give me your address and I'll send it over. So, she's my, um, she's like my fairy godmother when it comes to makeup. <laughs> she's, she's like me, she, she buys way too much makeup. And then every so often she has a clear out. And, do you want this, Ange? Do you want that, Ange? Do you want this, please? Uh, for some reason in here, I've also got the Jeffree Star 24 karat gold highlighter palette. Probably because, to be honest, that is more eyeshadow shades for me than highlighters. And I've got the Colourpop Good Sport palette. I love this palette. Why on earth of Colourpop? got rid of this this is the this to me is probably the best palette that Colourpop have ever released I am so happy that I managed to pick this up before they decided to stop selling it um, I've got Snow Angels by Dose of Colours which looks like this she's very very pretty or matte palette keeping her. This is my little mini Natasha Denona that cost me a bloody fortune because I got it from the Natasha Denona site which was had a German address on it and then when it arrived through it had been sent from America and they tried to charge me a ridiculous amount of tax because they tr they tried to charge me the same amount in tax as I paid for the palette and I'm like no our tax rate VAT when it comes in is 20% not a hundred percent and you know I'm still arguing with them at this point now oh yeah so this is the mini Natasha Denona Tropic palette um, a lot of people have said the mini ones are a different formula to her big palettes. This is okay, but I wasn't blown away by it. I wasn't. So, if it is the case that her other palettes are a different formula or a better formula, then maybe I can understand why people go nuts for them. Uh, but apart from that, I don't get it. And then I've got all my Colourpop nine pan palettes. I have got Blue Moon. Now obviously I'm keeping all of my nine pan palettes. Partly because I'm currently in a series with Nona and Laura. Where we are doing three continents, one palette. I've got the Aha uh -huh Honey. This is okay as a yellow palette, but I've got to be honest, I prefer the Urban Decay Honey palette, the Naked Honey, which surprises me because when that first came out, I anti hauled it. Then Teresa is dead used it. That woman could sell ice to Eskimos, she really could. 
This is the Just My Luck palette. Inuits. Inuits. Inuits, I know, not Eskimos, Inuits. <laughs> I'm being corrected. No, not in Uberits, that's something completely different. <laughs> I'm being politically corrected by the husband, the hippie. Uh, the <laughs> this is the first of the nine pan palettes that they bought out. This is the Ooh La La palette, which for some reason I feel that I have to say as if I was Pepe Le Pew. Does that mean you'll start stalking other skunks? No, he didn't stalk skunks. He stalked cats that had got white paint dripped on them. So they looked like skunks. I think he was a bit confused. I think he was a type confused, bless him. <laughs> uh, this is the Orange You Glad palette. That's the neighbour moving their table. This is the Mar palette. As opposed to the Me palette. Mar as in Spanish for C. Ah, not the Me palette. No, not the Me. Yeah. And to go with that one, of course, we have the Sol, which is Spanish for Sun. So I have that one. I must admit, I did question when. Um, the Baby Got Peach came out, I'm like, if you've got the orange one on the sol, why would you need peach as well? And then I went and bought all of them anyway. This is the Main Squeeze or the Watermelon Palette. And I was like, what do I need that for? I've got blood sugar. And then the completionist in me. Then the Lilac You A Lot, this is one of my favourites, this one and um, probably the mint one at the moment as well are a couple of my favourites from those particular ones. And then we've got the It's My, my Pleasure which is looking a little scrappy. Which is concerning because I always tidy those up before I put them away, so it does make me wonder why that's looking quite so messy. I think it's ghosts. No, I think it's just the uh, very loosely packed shimmer formula. Not quite as exciting as ghosts. No, baby got peach. Now, for some reason, this particular shade here constantly wants to fall out of the palette, so does this one, and this is a pressed shimmer which I hate. But apart from that, I really like the palette. I did tell you there wouldn't be much decluttering from this drawer, didn't I? This one's more of a, take a look, see what I've got, tell me what you want to see a tutorial with. Uh, and this is the Mint To Be palette. I do like these pastel ones they're bringing out. Uh, this one I don't have the box with because I picked this up second hand. This is the Colourpop X Shayla Proceed with Caution. But I really I picked this up before I had the brew palette. This reminds me an awful lot of the brew palette. But the completionist in me tells me I, I need to keep this. I know, I know, I know, it makes no bloody sense. Well then, when did I ever make sense? Come on, people. Right, this is the Sugar Peel Mini Fun Size Pastel Palette. Love this one. Although I do wish that instead of those two pinks, I really wish that they'd put something different there. I don't know what, but those two pinks, when they're on your eye, are not really that different. Um, maybe a more pastel blue because that's definitely a teal and that's more of an indigo so maybe a, a proper pale pastel blue 
would have looked nice in there or a pure white even would have looked good tucked down the front this is actually a highlighter palette this is the makeup addiction holy glow fantasy palette but they are just really really pretty shimmers right now let's pop in a touch of the nona and that one down there so leave that one on the top for a minute because I need to sort that out. Right. Uh, I've got another couple of Violet Voss palettes here. This is one of the Petite Pro. This is Petite Pro 1. Which looks like that. Picked that up second hand so I don't have a box for that one. This is the Soleil, which I believe was the fifth one. Petite Pro 5, the Soleil, which looks like that. Love this, really love this. And again, it's a really nice, small, very well curated palette. Um, so if you want to see a couple of looks with that, let me know. I'm more than happy to apply. Sorry, they weren't Violet Voss, they were Viseart. This is the Violet Voss one. This is the Fruit Sorbet, which is their little mini rainbow palette. Why are they in some kind of fruit? <laughs> no, I just like wearing women's clothes. Which is a line, in case you're wondering, from the Ed Wood movie starring Johnny Depp as. Ed Wood. This is my, it's actually a magnetic palette but it had a clear window so I stuck the Cleona Cosmetics business card in there because this is my Cleona Cosmetics. The blue ones obviously I bought initially. These grey ones up here are the Koala pigment set that she bought out um, and the money that she raised from selling that, the profits that she made from that were going to help animals that had been hurt in the Australian bushfires. Do you remember them? That was all in the news before all of this bloody lager lurgy. Lager lurgy. Lager lurgy. This is my other Winky Lux palette that I bought myself. Mm -hmm. This is the Cashmere Kitten, which again is neutral but it's mauve, so it's cool timed. Um, actually very similar now I look at it. Uh, but, sorry. Pardon me. When I look at it, very similar to the Flutterby palette in terms of colour. Um, so what I might have to do is do a look with both of those and decide whether or not I need to keep them both. Because I might not. Let's just pop that back up on there for a minute. And the final thing for this drawer, I believe, yep, is the Igneous Cosmetics set, which comes in this lovely little tin. And looks like so. This is also a gift from Kay. Right, darling. Can I have the next um, drawer up? Well, can you take this drawer, please, and then pass me the next one? Put my drawers away now. Don't think you don't want to see those again. <laughs> Honestly, it gets worse. I thought that was a really good joke. Mm -hmm. More pellets. You're not on camera, there's no point sneaking like that. Why well, I'm sneaking like this? He sneaks like Scooby Doo, knees up and everything. Look like, like a strange praying mantis coming across the screen. Welcome to my world, folks. <laughs> oh, it's a fun day here, isn't it? It's it's interesting, darling. It's definitely interesting. 
first and going to the bin. Yes, please. Right. What's the Swedish word of the day? Uh, I don't know. I haven't done much Swedish recently. Recently? Recently? Oh, Sound like Sean Connery. Sound like Sean Connery. To be right. fair, if he played a Swedish man, he would sound like Sean Connery. Sean Connery always sounds like Sean Connery, no matter like who he's playing. He's a Russian today. He's a Russian, he's but a he Russian. still sounds like a Scotsman. <laughs> right. I have got a lot of Juvia's Place. I will go through those in just a minute. But for the time being, let's get them out of the drawer so I can see what I'm looking at. Right. Uh, I have got my Anastasia palettes. I have got Modern Renaissance. You know, Modern Renaissance, the first one that I bought, I actually panned and then bought a second one. But I, I really only reach for Warm Fresco, Warm Taupe, Cypress Umber and then one of the shimmers when I go into here. So I think I'm going to declutter it. To be fair, you reach for more than S Club 7 ever did in their entire career. They just reach for the stars. I wonder where that was you, going. You reach for five things. I wonder where that was going for a minute. Like I'm panning all these jokes as I'm panning all these jokes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> panning. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right, this is the Alyssa Edwards palette, which I love. This was the second colourful palette that they bought out. They bought Riviera out first and then this one. Um, not the easiest of palettes to work with, but I love Alyssa. So... And I love a hot pink palette. Speaking of Riviera, I have that one as well, which I will also be keeping. I was resisting doing the Riviera kid, and you did it for me. No, oh, I did the dance. Which they didn't see. No, sorry. Dun -dun -dun. A very own Riviera kid, folks. Um, as I was saying, I'm keeping this one. The version of Subculture that I've got, I think, is the new one because it's got significantly more um, ingredients listed out on the back. And also, I find this quite easy to work with. So, it's definitely a grungy me kind of palette, so I'm keeping that one. And this is the Prism palette, which I'm also keeping, and I absolutely love it. Right. Juvia's Place. Here we go. I have got the Saharan Blush Volume 2. This was a gift from Kay. Not to be confused with the Saharan, which we heard about on another channel. Yeah, someone, someone pronounced like Saharan as Saharan. <laughs> she confused the heck out of me until I realised what they were talking about. This is the Queen palette that they did with Fumi. Still haven't used this yet. If you want to see me use this in a tutorial, let me know. This is the Saharan, or the Saharan palette. I also have the fake one over there that I got scammed with first time I bought this. Uh, if you want to see a real versus fake, let me know. This was my first ever, ever palette from Juvia's, and this is the Zulu palette. Um, to be honest, I only really reach for this now, for the green, and I've got better greens than that, so I'm going to declutter it. Darling! Mm. Do I hear the words D and clutter? He's standing there miles away, 
drifting away into his own little world. I like my own little world, it's magical. This is the mm -hmm. Deuce palette, which I really like. So that's staying. This is the Festival palette, that red, lush, really lush. So is that turquoise actually at the bottom. And this is the Saharan 2. This is one that Hubby bought for me. This is Tribe. It's going nowhere. I absolutely love it. It's not called Quest, is it? No. No. That's a different Tribe. <laughs> this is Magic Mini. I waited for ages to pick this up. And then Beauty Bay had it half price. So I'm like, get in. And this is the Masquerade Mini which I believe I've already done a real versus fake on this because again I got scammed the first time I bought that one. Happy days. Oh, man. And then I've got a couple of highlighter palettes here. Oh, I've got man. Jeff. Sorry. Are you quite finished? Yes, I think my gaseous release is done now. Platinum Ice, obviously I'm keeping that, and the original release of the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette, I don't quite know why that's suddenly been re-released, because the people were clamouring for that not that long ago, um, and they refused to release it, and now all of a sudden it's being re-released, so I'm not entirely sure what... The thinking is behind that, but I'm sure there's some kind of logic there somewhere. Uh, this is another one of those little Wet n Wild mini comfort zone uh, colour icon palettes. This is the rose in the air. This is the dupe for Modern Renaissance. Um, get, if I've decluttered Modern Renaissance, I might as well declutter this. Ooh, uh, these are some of my oh my glitter palettes. This is the Halloween palette. Spooky. Beautiful, going absolutely nowhere. It's like a spooky ha Halloween Winter roses. Wonderland palette, staying exactly where it is. This is the Get Sprung palette, which is all shimmers. This is a perfect accompaniment to the Layla 2, because the Layla is um, mainly matte, and this is all shimmer, as opposed to rimmer. Or rimmer, as uh, he was once This is the to. Bright palette. <laughs> This is the Queen Slayer palette. That's me again all over, isn't it? Huh? This is the Lexicon palette. How gorgeous is that? Look at that. Transcribing the Lexicon. And Lexicon looks like that. And these are duochromes. The majority of those. Obviously they're going nowhere. I didn't say that, but I figured it was kind of obvious. Um, got a couple of sample beauty palettes here, smaller ones. It's obviously my large one's in the, the drawer over there. This is the Immensity palette, which is their rainbow palette. I'm keeping that. This is their hydrographic palette. So it's like their version of Hasina 2. Purple, blue, green. Going nowhere. Staying with me. Then we have my Kaleidos palettes. We have got I love these but god they're a bitch to open. Especially when you haven't got nails. 
cyber bronze. I think I need to keep. Do I need to keep them? Yeah, because they haven't got the ingredients on them. The Astro Pink, which looks like that, which reminds me I need to sort out the collab with Pink Poodle. So we're doing a collab with that palette. Pink Poodle. Pink Poodle. It's a pink poodles are healthier than pink poos, aren't they? Christopher. Sorry. <laughs> you know he's in trouble when he gets the Christopher. Christopher. <laughs> this was a gift from my friend Kay. Because she knew I had all the others and didn't have this one. This is the Electro Turquoise. Hubby said sorry because he just walloped me on my knee. Oh, sorry. You get a stroke. Oh, I'm getting numb bum actually. Numb bum. Can I massage you while you are uh, This is the neon <laughs> palette. second hand it didn't have a little plastic slip in it so I looked up on their website what the names of the shows were and just hand wrote them on there but this is my favourite and this palette is the reason you can't see him but he's there on his knees rocking like this This is my favourite of their palettes. This is the sci-fi green. I had been lusting after the Gemini palette from Melt for so long. And then I picked this up. And I don't need the Melt palette now, or the Gemini palette. Because that has got all of the colours in it that are in the Gemini palette. But considerably... Uh, right, this is the, I'm going to be, this is my Pinky Rose Bright Lights palette, that's staying, this is my Melt Smoke Sessions palette, which totally exploded on the way here, and had to be pushed back down but it's gorgeous and it goes great with that sci-fi green palette but there's a reason I keep that in its box and then there's this little Celestial Thunder which was the one that my friend Shari sent me one of my lovely 4F babies sent me that one and then this one which is from, who's this from? V Cosmetics, I think. Yeah. This is the palette for the recently deceased and looks like that, which I'm also keeping. Right. I'm going to pass this one to the hubby to go back over there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to wiggle my bum while he gets me the next drawer. This is Coastal Scents Jungle Raw. I like it, but I haven't reached for it since my last declutter, so that can go. <gasps> this is time to introduce the prop. The declutter sock. The hungry declutter sock. 
Yeah. Puppets were great in the 80s, come on. <laughs> Everyone loves puppets. <laughs> <clears throat> this is my Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette. I like this, it's got some beautiful shimmers and that central highlighter is gorgeous. There's only the one matte but it is a beautiful mauve matte as you can see. Yeah, the best mauve matte. Um, but Again, I have not reached for this since my last declutter, so that can go. Is it the feast for the declutter sock? Oh, for goodness sake. <sighs> I'll declutter you in a minute. Please don't, you have to divorce me first. <laughs> These are my Prima <laughs> pressed glitters with sponge tip applicators in because it was the easiest way to actually apply them and believe it or not they're still quite soft so I shall keep those I'll show you them for a minute yeah a lot of this is there's a lot of highlighters in this drawer that I still need to go through this is my husband's favourite palette it looks like it's made of wood <laughs> this is the Tarte Graveyard Girl palette and looks like this. I hate shiny packaging because I can't show you the colours. Um, the mirror's going to dazzle you now. Uh, there, can you see that roughly? Bronzer blush highlight and then and it still smells like cocoa powder. It does, doesn't it? Can we eat it? No. Oh, it's collectible, sorry. But <laughs> I am going to keep hold of this one. Yes. Uh, because I got rid of my, or I decluttered my Maxine palette that I had mm. from Revolution that was on the same principle as that. It had blush, bronze, highlight, and then a selection of eyeshadows so I am actually going to keep hold of that one. Um, oh this is a cheeky trio. This isn't a that's a face palette, not a not an eyeshadow palette. I've got quite a few of my Jeffrey highlighters in here that I rarely use. I'm thinking of decluttering some of these. But I'll do highlights on a different day. I'm not going to do highlights today. Um, I will grab the um, Princess Cut Go Hard Pan. Because I, I need to do a film where I show. Yeah, Princess Cut went hard pan on me. So I shall grab that one out to show you an easy hard pan fix. Can we send a small plumber in to rescue Princess Cut from the evil hard pan? He's been playing too much Mario today. I don't know. I got carried away. Can I have my other box? Other tray. There was only a couple of palettes in that one. That's mainly highlighters that I need to sort out, which is not what we're doing today. Heavier than the rest. And this is the it's the final eyeshadow tray. Okay, I need to stop. This was my first ever <laughs> blush tribe palette. This was before she <coughs> had got her own unique formula. Um, this was, it's not private labelled because it's better quality than a private labelled one, but it's not her current formula. 
That being said, it's a very, very good palette. It's the Psychedelic palette. Psychedelic palette? Yeah, part of me wants to keep this, part of me... <sighs> so there's a couple of really nice... Um, kind of pastel -y neons in here. I think I'm going to hang on to that one just for the minute. Um, if I haven't used it the next time that I declutter, then it can go. Darling, what are you doing? Uh, improvising a prop. Oh Lord help us. This is great. This is like... Best, most right, this is the Life on the Dance Floor Revolution Sparklers palette, which looks like that. Uh, I'm not going to reach for that one, that can be decluttered. Ooh, wait, time for the declutter sock. Chris, my film is long enough. Sorry. Honestly, carry on like this, we'll be here till midnight. I've still got to edit all this down. Um, this is my Makeup Forever Artist Shadows 2, which looks like that. Um, I think I'm going to pass this one on. That is a clean sock, by the way. It is clean. That's not my other sock. <laughs> This is my Tarte Ladies Night circular palette thing with blush, bronzer, uh, highlight, three mattes which is the white one, this mauve one and the chocolate brown and then three shimmers. Um, Still smells good. I like this, but again, I'm gonna I'm gonna call that a maybe for the minute. Let me put that there. Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. Supernatural. Lunatics around here, darling. Looks like yeah. that. Loved, absolutely loved the colour theme of this and the design. Absolutely hated the formula. genuinely don't know whether to keep this as decoration because it is pretty cool so it's not the kind of quality that I'd want to pass on to anybody because it's not that although I could pass it to Maz and she could use the pigments I suppose in that's a maybe I just haven't decided what I'm doing with that yet I've not had time to finish my prop Christopher, what are you? Declutter sock has eyes. He stuck eyes on the sock. Now it can see what it's decluttering. You knew this was going to get weird, right? <laughs> this is the I Heart makeup, as was. Chocolate and Peaches palette. Which looks like that. Um, it's a lovely palette. I actually bought the exact same one for my eldest goddaughter for her first makeup palette. But if I want peaches, I'm going to pull the Jeffrey Thirsty palettes. So I'm going to declutter this.
Strength. Have one to say. This is the Lolita palette, which again love that color story. Wasn't overly impressed. It, all of these just kind of muddied together on me. I'm going to give it another go. Pull it out and put it with my other Kat Von diseases. Because now that uh, the company isn't owned by her anymore, it's owned by Kendo, I can start to feature her stuff on my channel again. But Don't they make those with martial arts sticks as well? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Smashbox. This is Mahusive. It has lift up panels, would you believe? Cool tones one side, warm tones the other, including blushes down here bronzer there and a highlight there um, I'm going to declutter that <gasps> Today. I'm not sure you're enjoying this more, you or them. Well, I think it's a great new addition to the channel. Right, <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the We Care Your Favours by Funkalore, which is the dupe for the Huda. Rose gold palette. I'm not going to use it. That can be decluttered. <gasps> Told you there'd be more going from this drawer. <sighs> this is the Beauty Glazed Perfect palette which came out I think three, four months before Beauty Glow, uh, before Huda released hers and this was the original packaging including the slip cover and then when Huda actually copied theirs instead of the other way around they decided to copy her slip cover that's why the inside doesn't match but again that can be decluttered Two more beauty glazed ones here again, dupe of the rose gold edition. That can be decluttered. And then the dupe of the desert dusk. Thank you. This is the BH Cosmetics Nightfall palette. No, Nude Rose Nightfall palette. With a brush in the middle that's about to fall out, which looks like that. Obviously, I bought this at the very beginning when I was still into neutral palettes before I discovered colour. Thanks. Sorry. Sorry. 
I could, I could have blamed declutter sock, but I could... He just announced that his, um, his bottom has burped. It's not too bad, in my opinion. It's level fruity. Probably means I'll start having any minute. This is the Revolution Big Love palette. I've got no idea. Which looks like this. Again, way too neutral for me. Christopher, yeah, that's gone all over my makeup brushes. Oh, oh, sorry, it's only a gentle spray. It's also coated me in air freshener. Looks like we all smell fresh now. Are you suggesting that I wasn't? No, no, no. I was thinking all the socks. See, the sock needed to be freshened. Just wipe the front of this palette Sorry. to get the air freshener off of it. What's this palette called, Christopher? Oh, I'd be very afraid. Should, should that be a hint? <laughs> Looks like this has two pressed glitters in it. I think I've used it twice. This is the Cool Down palette, <coughs> again, Makeup Obsession. This is like a pared down version of the Norvena palette, the original um, 14 pan Norvena palette that ABH do. Uh, that can be decluttered. Storybook Cosmetics. I love this, but it's a real bugger to store. It's so thick. This is the um, Harry Potter. No, it's not quite never ending, is it? There's not many pages. <laughs> Just don't watch the sequel. It was awful. <laughs> Christopher. Sorry. You should expect this when I'm in your films. <laughs> These are random pigments that I need to go through and decide which ones are good and which ones aren't. This is the NYX Avant Pop in Art Throb colour configuration. I think I can declutter that one. I'm going to try it from a different angle. You need special effects when you've got a sock. There's the Laura Lee Cat's pyjamas palette. Um, I still don't know how I feel about that palette. I think I need to use it a few more times to determine exactly how I feel. I need to have a wiggle. Hang on. Probably cut the wiggling out. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh. Wiggle, wiggle. Struggling. Definitely on the struggle bus. Let's put these ones back in. That wasn't sure. Right. This is well, this is a magnetic palette full of highlighters. That one's nice. It's green. Mm -hmm. Right, I'll sort through those at some point and decide which ones I want and which ones I don't. Right, this. This is the Tarte Magic Star, which I spent way too much money on. How much is too much? I think this was about 80 quid at the time. Goodness me. Oh no. So you've got 
bronzes, blushes, highlights, all of these eyeshadows, a liquid lipstick there that I've not used, a mascara there that I've not used, a lipstick there I've not used, and I think that's either I think that's an eyeliner that again that I've not used. Um, you can see I've literally tried one, two, three, four, five six, seven, I've tried eight of those 25 shadows. So I think I'm going to pass that on to someone who can make better use of it than I will before it goes out of date. You believe you're making life difficult for yourself, don't you darling? I just like to be creative, darling. Isn't that my job? It's your job. I'll do the puppets, you do the makeup. Okay. <laughs> this I've already promised to a friend. This is the Violet Gloss. When I bought the hashtag palette that I've been lusting after for ages, um, I picked it up from a friend of mine and she was selling them as a pair with the Laura Lee. <laughs> Violet Voss palette, which I wasn't really fussed about, but I know a friend of mine has expressed an interest in it, so Anya will be getting that one, so I can stay in there so I know where to find it. Right, I have got two Morphe palettes here. Do they I've look got... exactly the same? No. No. <laughs> I've got the 15T and the 15S. This is the 15T, which is oranges and greens. And I do like some of those greens. Um, and this orange shimmer is really nice as well. Um, Can you chuck the I don't know why I'm keeping the boxes. Yeah, I'll get rid of the box. Yeah. And then the 15S is the social butterfly one. Where's the anti-social butterfly? Well, clearly it's not here, it's anti-social. Yeah. And this is the purple and pink one. <laughs> um with a couple of greens. There are a couple of colours in these palettes that I actually want to try and depot. I'm going to attempt to depot them without breaking them and then I'll be passing those palettes on but obviously I need to depot them first. Um, I have got a sharp scalpel with which to cut <coughs> plastic. I've got a depotting tool. I've got magnets and I've got sticky labels so that I can label the shades. Um, if I fail dismally at depotting one of these shades, then I won't bother to try and depot the rest of them and they will just get passed on as is. But there are a couple of shades in there that I, I would like to keep. And I believe that's it. We're there. We're done. We're there. Wow. Finally, that is part two oh. of my eyeshadow palette collection and declutter. Right, so how many have I got in the declutter pile? Oh, well, now, we have got one. Oh, crikey. Two. Can you charge the speeds up a little bit? Three. Four, five, six. Six. 
seven, eight, nine. On the top. On the top. Zenya on the top. 10, 11, 12, 13. Mm -hmm. Right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. 14, 15, 16. That will have to be the very, very top one. Okay. Okay, you sure you're alright with those? Because we've got another 17, 18, 19. Yeah, put them on. Sure. <coughs> But yeah. make the per make the pink one the top one. Oh. Right. I've got it as well. Okay. If you'd like to come into the picture, honey, we can get a thumbnail. That sound decluttering, how many was it? Nineteen. Nineteen. Plus <laughs> forty three from last time because I pulled one back out. So can you take these please before I drop them off? You got them? Uh, hang on, Reese. Steady. Right. Oh god. I'm trying to straighten them so you've got them. Mm -hmm. You got them? I think so, yeah. Let me bring them back to the ground slowly. <laughs> so 43 last time, 19 this time. That's 62 pallets I've got rid of. Plus, potentially, oh, without dropping, potentially these two as well. So I'm really, really pleased with the progress that I've made so far. Darling, thank you for your help. That's alright, darling. That is just fine. Very much appreciated. <laughs> and I'm sure that uh, the Forad family will be delighted that you have once again made an appearance. Blessed us with your um a really bad ventriloquist too. Oh, I've got <laughs> dust up my nose from those pallets. <laughs> <sighs> oh dear, what are we like? You don't know what you're gonna get really, do you? I like a box of chocolates. Yeah. Bit nutty, a bit fruity, a bit sweet. And some that some break your teeth in half. Yeah. <laughs> Right, my darlings, uh, if you are one of my 4F babies, please double check you are still subscribed because YouTube are still deleting people left, right and centre. Um, please give this a like, let me know in the comments box below which, if any, of the palettes that you have seen today do you want me to use in a tutorial or... Um, uh, palette bingo or one row in a palette. Um, they, they sound like weird party games. They are weird party games. Oh, okay. They're 4F family party games. Oh, right. Better than charades. Oh, yeah. Why did you do big box, little box, cardboard fish? No, big fish, little fish, cardboard ball. I don't know. Okay, I've really lost the plot now. I'll say um, why. <laughs> let me know if you want to see any of those. <laughs> any of the ones that I kept. Um, let me know if you, to, if you want me to do a tutorial with any of them. Um, of the ones I got rid of, would you have got rid of those? Would you have kept them? Let me know. Uh, don't be offended if I got rid of a palette that happens to be your favourite I just have a crap ton and that is a technical term a crap ton um, so I, I have to be sensible if I've not reached for it in the last sort of year since I last did this they're just going to sit there and go out of date when somebody else could be making use of them um, they are not being binned they will friends and family will get first dibbings some are already pre-allocated to oh. other friends. Uh, and those that are not pre-allocated and do not get selected by <coughs> friends and family that they want to use them 
will go to my friend Maz and she can grind the pigments down and use them in her artwork. So nothing will be getting wasted at all. If you're new to my channel, hi, hello, welcome. My films are not always like this. Are you sure? You're probably right. Mm. Trust me, watch another one. <laughs> watch one where I'm actually putting makeup on rather than just talking about the makeup that I have in my collection because apparently the combination of Na 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 my corona virus lockdown type thing has sent me a little bit stir crazy. I don't know what the husband's excuse is because he still goes to work. His class is an essential member of member of member of staff. Because people still have to fix broken loos and broken loos and busted doors and stuff. If the news people paper will give people skid marks, then we still need to fix toilets. <laughs> On that wonderfully graphic note, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Please do. <laughs> Declutter Sock is not guaranteed to make any further appearances. But what if it's a fan favourite? Oh god help me. I might have started something I can't stop. It's like Gordon the Gopher. It's not like Gordon the Gopher at all. Really? We're not in a broom cupboard. Mm. It doesn't squeak. I know a man who used to be in a broom cupboard. Yeah, but he <laughs> recently came out and now it's all locked down. He's got to stay in. I know, so he's stuck in his broom cupboard again. Anyway, <laughs> I will try and finish this film. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome to the madness that is 4F. Um, it would be wonderful if you'd love to join us. Totally understand if you want to watch another couple of films first to work out whether I am really as mad as uh, I have uh, portrayed myself in this particular film. There's plenty to choose from. Uh, as I have said on many occasions now and have been echoed on other less imaginative channels. Grab a drink. Grab a snack, put your feet up, and indulge. Right, my darlings, I think I, I need to sign off for this because this is just... Yes. <laughs> All that remains for me to say, as ever, is you'll stay fabulous, and I will see you next time. Bye for now. Bye for now. <laughs> oh dear, what are we doing? I genuinely have no idea, but I think I lost the plot about halfway through the film. <laughs>